you want to maximize your MacBook Air, you're missing one thing, okay? And I'm going to show you right now. Okay, it's finally here. And after purchasing this on Shopee, I had to wait a week so that it came. And finally, it is here, the Wavelink Thunderbolt 3 Dual 4K Docking Station, blah, blah, blah. All right. And the reason why I got this is because currently I am using the MacBook Air and there's only two parts okay it's only two parts okay so this one goes to the monitor no this one goes to the monitor this one goes to a hub here so this one goes this is a hard disk this one goes to another hub where it's powering like my mouse my keyboard and my microphone ah, so that is why we need this one okay so we're gonna do a very quick unboxing to see how it looks like all right <clears throat> And there we go, the Wavelink Thunderbolt 4. You know, I didn't find any reviews on the internet, so this should be one of the first videos where you can see this. Okay, so let's do a very quick unboxing to see what is inside, okay? What to expect if you are looking for something like this. So once it arrives, this is what you will see. Oh my God, it's stuck inside. Come on, come on. Okay, there we go. So here we have the dock. Right, it is in the it's in the plastic, and yeah, usually let's open this. All right, let's be good. Go. All right, there we go. Let's throw this away. All right, and there we have the dock. I wouldn't say it's like heavy or it's not too heavy. It's not too light either. It's quite manageable. So let's look at the top here. We have the logo, and I know there's another version. I think it's black plastic, but I got this is because uh, this is aluminum. It looks much better. And this logo here, right, it is laser etched, I think. Okay, it's not like a sticker or something. So it is laser etched here as well, Thunderbolt. So it looks much better. So in the front, this will be the front. This is where the MacBook will connect to this. This is an additional USB port. Good. USB 3 and audio output. Okay, audio output. So this is the front. At the bottom, you will see the rubber strips here. Okay, so this is to prevent it from moving. I think this will help with cable management on the sides, nothing much. This, there is a slope. So the idea is um, you put your laptop here so that it becomes like a stand as well. All right, so this, that is the idea. But that's not how I'm going to use it. But the option is there if you want to. Okay, at the back, LAN cable. USB 5, uh, 5 gigabyte per second, two USB ports, 10 gigabyte per second. And this is the reason why I got it. Okay, the display port. Because I just got this and it doesn't work <laughs> with the HDMI cable. All right, it has to be display port for me to get the full resolution. Otherwise, it's just going to max out at 1080p. Okay, so that was the reason why I got this. So that's the dock. What else do we have? Oh yeah, one more thing. So it has, it supports two, but as we know, the M1, the M1 MacBook, okay, only supports one display. So at least the option is there. Okay, so let's put this away. What else does it come with? Oh, right, nice. Okay, we have a HDMI to display port adapter as well. So if you are using HDMI, you want to output to display port this will help a lot so there is two of this okay there's two of this great this is an extra bonus okay 4k 40 hertz great okay good what else okay power cable okay let's pull this out power cable ah okay all right cool the USB-C cable there we go. So is it long enough? Yep, I think it's long enough. It's about 500, uh, sorry, it's about 50 cm, I think. Okay, not really like a, it's not a, really like one meter. So yeah, I think it should be enough to go to the dock. So the dock will be exposed there. There we go. And we have our power brick. I need to find a way to conceal this. This shouldn't be out here shouldn't be exposed okay yeah so that anyway that is quick unboxing so what later I'm gonna set it up and let you guys know how it's gonna look like once it's up and running all right 
Okay, so I kind of in the process of setting it up. And when I turned it on, I didn't, I thought it wasn't working until I realized that there is a power button here. So make sure to press this to turn this on. Okay, so I have my dock set up there and the brick is over there because this and the brick has to be there because the cable isn't this one because this one isn't long enough so yeah this is how it's gonna be like but i might do some cable management thing and have this under the table instead so that will be another project okay so as you can see macbook one port to the hub and this is the power this is display port and i'm getting the full resolution on my ultra wide monitor here all right so currently i have one hard disk one hard disk here this one's for the keyboard and i have another hard disk here as well okay previously i was using this dock and i overpaid for this uh this cost me about Okay, I, I kind of overpaid for this one. I paid about 400 plus for this and I realized that you don't need to spend so much money on something like this. Okay, uh, just something that's about 100 ringgit will do. You, you, 100 plus, you don't need to spend like four, 500 bucks on something like this. And one of the problems I was facing is there's limited ports here. And when I connected two hard disks at the same time, both will run out of power. Okay, because there's just not enough juice to run to hard disk, which is why I got this dock here. Okay, so I'm almost done, just some finishing touches and I'll let you know how it works out later. Uh, just a quick update, I tested using this, the headphone jack, and at first, what I did was, I went into my speaker settings and I chose this multi output device so this isn't the one the one that you want to choose is microphone okay so this is the one that has that will give you sound from this output okay so let's just do a quick test all right so if you're thinking of using this one just remember to choose microphone okay and that's how you get sound from that output Okay, so now we have everything set up and oh, finally with this, I am able to maximize the MacBook Air. Just a quick run through. All I need is one port, one port to the hub. And in this hub, we have power, which is charging the MacBook. We have the display port going to the monitor. This is going to the hard disk. This one goes to the mic, and this one is to the keyboard. And in and in front, I have this one connected to another hard disk as well. So from the back, you can see it is much neater now, which is very nice since I'm sitting here all day. So a clean desk will give me a clear mind as well. But I definitely need to work on my cable management. Now for this one, I will need Crystal. Crystal is amazing. If you look at the office right now, it is so beautiful. I'm almost jealous. And once again, this is my work setup for my work from home. Ah, since we're going to work from home, might as well just make the most out of it. Okay, I hope you like this video. Is it worth getting this one? Yes, it is. If you want to maximize the use of your MacBook. Okay, otherwise, there we go. Ah, welcome to my home office. Okay guys, so that was a very quick video on the Wavelink Thunderbolt dock and I'm so happy I got it finally after so many so much research so many different options and so far this is worth the money okay because it does exactly what I wanted to do which is to give me a clean desk very neat and uh, I can plug in many things as well without worrying about the power running out. So any questions, any questions you want to know about the dock, just feel free to comment. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, you know, subscribe to my channel, follow me on social media, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.